star back in the 60s and 70s, huge, huge star of his own show, uh, you know. And they said, oh, yeah, we've heard about him, but we don't know much about him. And then this person said to me, uh, did he sing? I said, no. Did he tell jokes? No. No. Did he dance? No. No. Well, what did he do? I had to think about this for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and I guess the answer is he was a pointer. He just pointed to the axe and stumbled and couldn't pronounce anything. He was the only man I ever met in my life, Ed Sullivan, who could count up to three and get two of the numbers on. He was not the sharpest knife knife in the drawer, I'll tell you right now. This guy was not bright Ed Sullivan. He'd freeze to death in front of a brothel waiting for the red light to change. The wheel was spinning, but the rope was dead. Uh, but Ed tried, he tried, you know, he struggled with those cue cards. Um, he had everything written out. The cue card guy showed up for the show, which was Sunday night at 8 o'clock. And the cue cards were about 300, you know, because they could only get about uh, three words in each card if they had to print the letters so big. And he still couldn't read, or I don't know. As a matter of fact, the first time I ever appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show, true story, I had just done the Judy Garland Show. And uh, things were going really well for me. And I got booked on the Ed Sullivan Show. Wow, Sunday night, Ed Sullivan. Everybody watches Ed Sullivan, you know? So, boy, I was prepared. I went over my routine about a hundred times. I knew all of Canada would be watching. And um, all seven of them. But, uh, and you know what Ed did? It's hard to believe, but I have this on tape. Ed Sullivan comes out. Now remember, he can't read. He gets things screwed up all the time. Here's how he introduced my very first occurrence on the Ed Sullivan show. He went. <laughs> And now, yeah. well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring to the stage a young, a young and first comic who is coming to us from beautiful downtown Canada, <laughs> making his very, very first appearance here on our stage. Let's have a big U.S. welcome for. Little Richard! <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I was introduced. As Little Richard. I stumbled out on stage like a deer caught in the headlights. I was so stunned. He introduced me as Little Richard. And then I thought to myself, you know, if I bomb tonight in the show, my routine doesn't go over. It won't affect me, it'll affect little Richard. <laughs> He'll never get booked on here. But Ed was so apologetic when the show was over. He came up to me and he said, Now listen, tiny. <laughs> no, it's not tiny little, it's Richard. I know who you are. He said, they wrote it, they wrote it wrong on the cards. So I want you to come back next week and, and do the show for us again. I want to make up for what I did tonight. I said, thank you, man. I, I would love to. So I got another shot out of the Ed Sullivan show by him screwing my name up. But then I thought to myself, next week I'm going to be introduced as Buddy Rich. But Ed was an uh, interesting man, fascinating man. But um, some of the other great entertainers that I worked with that I love, Jack Benny. Jack Benny. I adore Jack Benny. One of the sweetest, nicest,